Hello everyone, today we're going to have radicals and fractional exponents. This is the first part. I will put the link of the second part in the description box below. So we have here this form, I put it in a red box. So this is the square root of b to the power m is actually equal to b to the power m raised to the power one half. Or this can also be equal as b to the power m over two. So these three um, expressions that we have here are equivalent expressions. That means they're going to give the same answer. So let's have uh, the first example here. This is 25 to the power 3 halves. So if we look at the, um, the problem here, this looks similar to this. Our m is 3. So that means we need to come up with an, uh, we need to come up with an expression that's going to look like these two since this one matches up with that. So let's take the first one. So therefore we can say that the other expression that would be equivalent to this is 25 to the power our m is 3. So this is the, um, this is the other expression that would be equivalent to this. And the third expression would be this. So because we're asked to find um, two more expressions. Since we're given that, we need to do two more. So that's what it says here. So we're going to come up with an exp expression that's going to look like this. So our second expression would be 25. So that's a parenthesis. 25 to the power 3 to the power 1 half. Okay, so these three expressions are equivalent expressions. Now, let's check. Um, if they are equivalent, let's start with 25 to the um, 3 halves. So I have 25 to the exponent 3 divided by 2. So the answer to that is 125. Now I have a second square root of 25 to the third power. And the answer is 125. And then I'm going to have, I'm going to put this in. Let's see if well, it's still going to be 125. So that would be 25 to the third power and then to the exponent 1 over 2. And so the answer is 125. So these three expressions are equivalent to each other. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so in this problem right here, this matches up with this form. So then I am going to come up with these two forms here. So the first form that we can come up here would be the square root of, if you look at here, our m is 3. So then we can go ahead and write square root of 64 to the power 3. And then for this one right here, um, I am going to come up with an expression that's going to look like this because this one matches up in the middle. So this one would be 64 to the power 3 halves. And so this is the second expression. So we can check if this 3 would be equivalent by using the calculator. So let's type it in. So that is uh, parenthesis 64 to the third power to the exponent 1 over 2. So that's the first one. And the answer to that is 512. Now let's see square root of 64 cubed. So that is the square root of 64 to the third power. And that's 512. And let's see the Next one right here. So we have um, 64 to the power 3 divided by 2, or 3 halves, and that is 512. And so they are a match. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now, we are. this is only for square root. There is a more general uh, rule that we have to follow, and this is a more general form. So that means there is already an index here. It can be any number. It doesn't have to be squared. It can be cube root. It can be fifth root, tenth root, or whatever. So it's pretty much the same setup, but instead there's already an index, which is represented as letter N. So let's take this first example right here. So this kind of problem here looks similar to this. So then I'm going to come up with two more. So um, I need to come up with this two form right here. So from here, I can write 8 squared to the power 
one third. So that is the uh, that is the second type that's the same, similar to the one in the middle. And then I'm going to come up with similar to this. So that would be eight to the power two over three. Again, these three are equivalent. Now let's check using the um, calculator. So that would be the cube root of, so that's the cube root of, um, eight squared. So our answer to that is four. Now let's set this up. So we're gonna have eight squared and then raised to the power one third. The answer should be four, and so it's four. And then let's have the last one. Eight to the power two over three is four. And so this three expressions are equivalent. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so this one matches up with this form. So then our M is three, our N is five. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this as the fifth root of 32 cubed. So this is the um, the sec. This is similar to the first form right here. Now let's have the one in the middle. So that would be um, thirty-two to the third power to the exponent one fifth. And so this is the second um, expression. So let's see if both of. I mean, these three expressions are um, equivalent. So that is. Um, 32 to the exponent 3 fifth. So the answer to that is 8. Now let's have the fifth root of um, the fifth root of 32 cubed. So it should be 8. Now let's see what that is. And it is 8. And let's have the last one here. Parenthesis 32 to the third power and then to the exponent one over five or one fifth, and the answer is eight. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.